I'm currently working on a series to help you understand banking. And the first thing that we want to talk about is flat interest versus reducing balance interest. I hope that interests you. Let's get those credits rolling. <laughs> Now, the first thing that happens any time you are taking a loan, the very first thing that you check is what is the interest on that particular loan. In a future video, I'll talk with you about what is known as total cost of credit. This will come in a future video. In this one, I want us to tackle the simplest form of banking, simple interest or flat interest, and then also talk about reducing balance interest and then give you what the difference is between the two. So the next time that you are meeting your banker, you have better knowledge on how these things work. Now, whenever a bank is giving you money, they look at how much money are they going to make out of the money that they are giving you. So in our example, we'll look at two different scenarios where a hundred thousand shillings is being given out. And in one case, we will do simple interest where the money is actually going down in terms of interest. And in the second, we will look at reducing balance. Now, the simple one to understand is known as simple interest or flat rate interest. This means that when you are going to the bank to actually ask for the money, and in this case, we are asking for a hundred thousand, and then they tell you we are charging you 10% interest per annum which means per year then that is what is being calculated that at the end of the year from the 100,000 that they are giving you you will pay them 10% more by the end of 12 months so in this case if you're given 100,000 the interest is 10% which means 10,000 shillings and then at the end of the year you will have returned 100,000 plus 10,000 which comes to 110,000 now the thing you need to also also understand which I mentioned just a little earlier called pa annum is to find out from your bank if the interest that you're being quoted is per annum or per month because you will see big placards which say five percent and then they don't tell you that it is five percent per month if you're doing five percent per month then that means that it is five percent times 12 which is 60 percent per year this is a very expensive loan in this example that means that they are charging you five percent per month 5,000 shillings per month at the end of the year that is 5,000 times 12 that is 60,000 shillings so they gave you a hundred thousand they will expect from you a hundred plus 60,000 so these are the things to look out for anytime that you're taking a loan with any institution the second kind is called reducing balance it is a little different from the first because any end of a period and the period here is a month what will happen is that the interest is recalculated and then you're told to pay the interest for that particular month so unlike flat interest or simple interest where it was calculated at the start and it is the same interest per month in reducing balance anytime you reduce a loan the interest is also reduced so at this point i want to to show you the two hand in hand so that you can be able to see exactly what we are talking about and you can be able to make a good financial decision when you are taking this loan so in this calculation that we are about to do we start with a hundred thousand we are assuming that we have ten percent interest and that's what we are going to work with so in month zero which is at the time that you're getting the loan we start with a hundred thousand and then we are calculating a ten percent per annum which means that a hundred thousand at the end of the year so the calculation that we are doing is a hundred thousand times ten percent that comes to ten thousand at the end of the year so at the end of the year that is 12 months so divide that by 12 and we have our interest per month at 833.33 so this is what is being paid per month i've put it at month zero so at month one it is 833.33 same thing month two and the rest of the months so we'll do that really quickly so at the end we'll have paid ten thousand shillings 
at the end of the year. So if this was 5% per month, then it would have been 5,000, 5,000 like that until the end of the year. But this is 10% per annum, which is possible to get anytime that you go to a bank, this would be something that's possible. So the next thing that we need to look at is anytime that you're paying your loan, there are two things that you pay. In the full amount, there are two components, the principal and the interest. So these are the two amounts. In order for you to get the principal that you're paying per month, what you do again is how much have you been given, which is 100,000 divided by 12. That comes to 8,333. So that's the portion of the principal that you will be paying. So per month, you're paying 8,333.33. And at the end, you're also paying 8,333.33. So an addition of the two, you will find that every month you're paying 9,166.66. That's what you will be paying per month. So you will be told to pay 91.67. Then if you do now 91.67 times 12, you will find you are paying 110,004. So 110,000. So because it will be at a bank, it will be the exact amount that is going to be deducted from your account. So what happens is at the end of the month, this is the reason why I have done this chart so that you will be able to see the difference between the two. So at the end of the first month. So to start the month, we'll have 100,000. That's what you're starting with when you have actually just been given the money. Then at the end of that month, the principal, which means the amount of money that you are given is 100,000 less 8333.33 which comes to 91,666.67. So at the end of the first month and at the beginning of the second month, your loan balance is 91,666.67. Then as that month goes on, you will be paying 8,333.33 in terms of principal and interest. Then at the end of the month, you'll be asked to pay 91.66 then the principal at the end you now minus again 8333.33 you remain with 83,333.34 so in this case as you keep going on every single month you do the starting principal less the principal payable in that month you get the balance at the end of the period and if all goes well you at the end of the year you'll have zero amount to pay so that is a simple explanation of how flat interest works. Now, the second option, which is reducing balance, is a bit cheaper in terms of the amount of money that you will be paying, but the math is just a little complicated in terms of how much to calculate it, but we'll go through it same way like we have done. So what will happen now in the first month with the 100,000 that we are starting with, this is now reducing balance. What we'll do is we'll calculate the interest for the month. So what happens is 10% per annum, we need to now check what is the interest for the month? So we were paying 10% uh, per year. We divide that by 12 to get the effective interest at the end of the month. So 10% divided by 12 is the interest per month. That is what we'll be using to calculate. So in terms of principal, we do times 100,000 because that is the very first month. And in the first month, the interest is the same. So we have 833.33, similar to what we had in the first case, but as you will see, it changes a little as we keep going on. So the next thing that will happen, we said that the principal at the start of the first month is 100,000. That's what we have. And then the principal in the first month, we will now see depending on how much we have been asked to pay. So in this particular case, we'll say we are doing 10%. It needs to end at the end of the year. So in this particular payment, let's assume we are paying the same amount of 9166.66 okay so what will happen is take the 9166.66 that you're paying at the end of the month minus the 833 we have 8333 0.33. Then when you do 100,000 less this amount, we are left with 91,666.67. 
Now we come here 91666.67. Now what we'll do to get our interest for that month is that we'll do the 10% that is annual divide by 12 to see how much we are supposed to pay for that particular month times 91666.67. It comes to 763.89. Now if you notice in our first example we're doing 833 all throughout but in reducing balance the interest has actually reduced so in this case what we are doing in reducing balance the amount has reduced we are still paying the 9166.66 and the principal per month in this particular instance is 8402.78 now what you will start noticing as we are going on is the fact that the principal portion of the payment keeps on going up the interest portion keeps on going down and you will pay less by the end of the year so let's go through so that you can be able to see so at the end of the second month 91666.67 less 8402.78 comes to 83,263.89. Now, in this other example, we had 83,333.34. Now you'll see in the second one, you have lesser principal at the end of the second month. Now you will see this fully filled in as we go on. Now we go to the third month, 83,263.89. And payment per month is 9166.66 just to be able to do a comparison of the two and then the interest per month 0.1 divided by 12 times 83263.89 693.87 and in this particular case just in a few i will be able to show you exactly what happens in the two cases as we go on so let me get to calculating so from our calculations, what we can be able to see is if you use the simple interest or flat interest method, you will end up paying the 10,000 shillings. So at the end, the interest that is required from you is 833.33 per month. At the end, that's 10,000 bob. And every month, in this case, we've used 91.66 per month. You will pay that until the end. So in the second method, which is the reducing balance method, you'll end up paying interest of 5,286.93 instead of the 10,000 in the simple interest or the flat interest method in method one. And at the end of the year, you will have paid a total of 105,286. So instead of paying 10,000 shillings at the end of the month, you'll have paid 5,000 shillings, 286, which is a difference of almost 4,800 bob. Now, this is what you need to know. In this example, we've just used 100,000 shillings. Now, imagine you're borrowing a loan for a million bob. Imagine you're borrowing a loan for 10 million bob. You need to make sure that you understand whether the interest is reducing balance or it is flat interest. Now, in this case that we have used with 12 months, the difference is not that large with 10,000 and 5,000. But if you now extend to a second year, this becomes more and more noticeable. So you need to understand that flat interest versus reducing balance, the difference gets to almost double when you are using either of the two. So the next question that you need to ask your banker is what is the total cost of credit and we'll handle that in the next one.